What's up, guys? I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, today is Monday, January 11th. Uh, I just got back from work and I'm uh, going to update you. Uh, so, yesterday I didn't vlog, um, but I can just update you on what I did. Uh, basically, uh, compiled all of the daily vlogs I had um, from the week prior and then. Um, you know, edited a little bit and then uploaded that to YouTube, posted on all the social media platforms, and then just relaxed, ate lunch, um, watched some football games, um, talked to a couple friends. Uh, shout out to Bridget, um, Kaylee, um, and then later at night I talked to John as well. Shout out to John. Um, so I did a, a couple of calls, um, and, uh, yeah, just, just, um, yeah, it was, it was interesting because, and I think this is, um, you know, something I think we all can relate to is I, I tried to, to work, um, uh, more on the, on the content calendar that I have for, for this week and, and things like that and it just didn't work like I just was um and I think that I mean you know for anybody out there that's you know works full time and then does something on the side as well like that can almost be a hard thing to to be self aware of is like how much um work can you put in and how hard can you go um because you know obviously my time is limited <laughs> you know everything i have to um do you know after hours um uh, at work after work hours um so that's just definitely one thing i would say um to remind people like relaxing is okay like um you know human beings aren't machines um we need rest and recovery um play is important um so you know i think that line can often be hard uh to determine uh but um you know, I, I thankfully I recognized it, and at that, at that point I just kind of played video games um, and just like watched YouTube videos and things like that. Um, so um, that was my Sunday. Uh, today I had work and um, came back, uh, just relaxed for a little bit, watched some Impractical Jokers. If you've seen. If you haven't seen the show, definitely see the show. Uh, four best friends who just uh, prank each other. It's it's incredible. Um, it's hilarious. And then um, just uh, made some green uh, green tea. Um, I'm a I'm a tea person. <laughs> uh, I like um, usually have. Um, black tea in the in the morning and then some uh i don't drink green tea all the time but like probably two or three times a week um but one of the things i like to do uh after work is is get in a little exercise um obviously with covid um it's a little uh you know not going to the gym but uh doing the best i can at home um so maybe i'll show you a little bit of that and then i got some laundry to fold so might show you a little bit of that too.
sure how much you saw, but uh, I think I did like 30 jumping jacks, um, 15 sit-ups, um, and 10 push-ups. Uh, so just try to get a little bit of movement going. Um, and that'll probably be the rest of my vlog for tonight. Um, yeah, low-key night. Probably, um, shower, dinner, and then do some podcast work, and then, uh, maybe just relax and watch some basketball or something. Hope you guys have a great day. What's up, guys? Uh, it is January 12th. Today, I uh, just got back from work. Um, so, actually, on the way back from work, uh, I got on a call with um, someone who um, has also lost someone to suicide. Um, and it was just, uh, you know, it was just, it was interesting um, because, you know, obviously it's tough talking about someone. Uh, that you knew, um, who, who didn't see the light, um, but I, uh, I think it also can be kind of, um, therapeutic to just talk about those things, I think, so often we don't, uh, you know, talk about our feelings on, on situations like this, and we hold them in, and, um, it honestly kind of felt good to have a, uh, a support network sort of deal of, like, I feel your pain and, and you feel mine. And, um, so it was, uh, it was good. Um, and then now I'll probably exercise a little bit. Um, and then, uh, yeah, tonight, uh, not i mean i have a i actually have a a zoom call with friends uh hopefully scheduled um so that'll be fun i'll probably do a little screenshot of that um but otherwise a low key night probably do some more podcast work after the call um and uh yeah, hope you're doing well. Oh. It is recording. Hello. Tuesday vlog. Yeah. Get yeah. you some real friends, man. Boy. Yeah. How long has it been? Eight years, dude. Yeah, gotta be about eight years soon. Yeah, that's crazy. Eight years that's We've crazy. been friends. What else do you think? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> And we, and we so it's been four years or three and a half years since we graduated, and we still text the every group day, chat every day, today. which is amazing. Quite a milestone. We call multiple, usually like once or twice a week. Yeah, it's crazy. pretty incredible. Yeah, and pre-COVID, still vacation together twice a year. Yeah, we're, we're solid dudes. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna end on that. that. They can't beat that end. What's up, guys? So, uh, just finished up the uh, call with my best friends. Um, you saw Andrew and John there. Um, so, it was good. Uh, it went uh, longer than usual, but it was good. Um, just talking about, you know, how we're doing, how our jobs are going. Talking about what happened last Wednesday with the uh, Capitol. Um... And then just, just, uh, reminiscing about, you know, uh, old times and stuff like that. Um, I will probably now just watch some YouTube, uh, before I go to bed. Uh, <laughs> probably not the best habit. I should probably get rid of, uh, electronics. Um, and I, they say don't look at electronics, um, for an hour before bed. But uh, I'll get there someday. I'll get there someday. But right now, just watching um, Josh and Sav. Uh, they're just a, I don't know. They're just a cool, real couple on uh, 
YouTube. Uh, definitely check them out if you get a chance. Um, hope you have a great day. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, today is January 13th. Um, I just got back from work, and um, I have a, a, a panel to go to. Um, so, like I've said in the first one, um, but if you don't know, I'm, I'm doing a, a part-time MBA at Babson. Um, it's called the Evening MBA, basically for uh, people that work full-time uh, to be able to take classes uh, in the evening. And uh, today I'm going to be doing uh, a panel um, with some other current students in, in different programs. Uh, and we're going to spe be speaking to uh, prospective students um, who are looking at Babson. And so, yeah, it should be, should be uh, fun. I'm thankful I was asked to be a part of uh, the panel and to represent Babson. Uh, quite, the, quite the honor for me. Um, and so, yeah, I'll, I'm going to shower, <laughs> eat dinner quick. <laughs> and I, they told the panelists to, to uh, sign on a half hour before. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna try to try to do that. Um, so, yeah, I'll uh, hopefully be able to vlog some of the panel. Um, yeah. Each question, and we'll just kind of make sure we try to balance that across, especially full time working professional, etc. Doing some prep before. Kathy the or Terrence, anything else panel? you think of? Or? That, sounds, that sounds good. If you look at our panelists here, Ajumpong, um, Arnoff, and Jose Maria are all in what we call working professional programs. So they're in their job situations as well as going to school. As you said, uh, for me, um, I wanted to work full time and then all, and just and be able to continue to do that and then also learn on the on the side. And so Babson was a great fit. Um, a lot of the other programs in the Boston area uh, actually don't offer part time MBA programs. Um, and then, you know, the the aspect of, uh, you know, just entrepreneurship and at that whole emphasis and obviously the number one school in the country uh that that you can't really replace that uh that that like there were some programs and i won't mention them but like they didn't even have entrepreneurship as a core class uh in in their mba programs and, uh, and so that definitely would not have been a good fit for me um because i was just i was looking to meet with other like-minded people If you really love business, this is what it's all about, right? This is real life. Like restaurants are going through this. Like everybody's going through this. People are having to pivot. You know, a lot of, you know, restaurants had to made like, you know, in terms of their e-commerce play, probably made what the changes they would have made over five to seven years in like three months. And they had to, you know, they had to adjust and create, you know, uh, delivery systems or join a delivery system. I mean, this is this is business. This is life. Obviously, for anybody out there, they know the business comes first, right? So you have to make sure your you, whatever business you own comes first. But um, one of the beautiful things about continuing to learn is by by taking classes and learning, you apply, as Neha said, what you're learning to your business. So actually, I, I mean, I had Professor Turner uh, for one of my classes on cash flow and something that he had said um, in, in one of the classes, the next day I actually made that change in the business, right? So that, that's very powerful. And, and that's really, um, you know, one of the great parts of, of the evening MBA and, you know, being able to take, you know, go at your own pace and, and things like that. Um, so I would say that the second part is the networking part. I think Neha mentioned that too, but I mean, that is continually a part of business and relationships. And, you know, even when you're doing like tomorrow, there's like a, uh, I don't know if Professor Turner mentioned it, but, uh, Miami connect, right? There's going to be people in my industry that are C-suite executives that are Babson alums who are going to be at that event. Like I've met people like that at, at different events, um, you know, potential clients of mine. So, 
you know, it, it, it continues to, to, uh, to be, you know, in all aspects, um, very good because I think business owners often don't do enough reading or enough, uh, learning. So this kind of forces you to, you know, look at case studies and then, um, you know, really digest it and see what they, what you liked about them and what you didn't. And especially on that, on that, um, uh, networking part the professors too right like ed marum uh is a professor i had last semester he he geo centers got a 500 million dollar contract from the government government he was the ceo of that company eric geiler uh was another professor i had for mergers and acquisitions i mean he's he's a guy that's uh sold uh his companies for you know hundreds of millions of dollars. So like, you know, in all aspects, um, you really can't go wrong with more learning, more networking, um, and being in the Babson environment. Yeah, I would just say, just go after your dreams, right? Like I'm, you know, they they do, um, I forget what it's called, but they do an event every Tuesday where they bring in a, an entrepreneur uh, and they do like a, a 30 minute uh, lecture and then Q and A. And there you just, you know, you meet from, you know, an entrepreneur, you're in, in an environment where undergrads are also allowed to be, be there. And so you're seeing these undergrad entrepreneurs. Um, you know, one of the things that I did la uh, last year with uh, the Babson Marketing Club was I did an event with Alchemies um, where I got the VP of marketing of Alchemies to come with uh, her and along with seven other uh, of her colleagues Um to come and, and, and do an event with us. And that was just, I was in the outreach team for Babson Marketing Club and they said, the sky is the limit. And I, and I went after it and then suddenly there's seven VPs from a major pharmaceutical company uh, at Babson doing a, you know, a two hour event with us. And so, uh, you know, anything that uh, you want to put your mind to, uh, you can do it. What's up guys, uh, today is, Thursday, January 14th. Um, honestly, I'm <laughs> a little tired uh, just from the week um, and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to take today to relax. Uh, but I do have one thing that's cool. Um, my friend, uh, Andrew Craig, uh, and you can follow him at joyful underscore inking, uh, sent me this. Um, it's an art piece uh, he, he made. Um, and, uh, yeah, I bought a print from him, so, uh, if you like any of his art, feel free to, uh, buy prints from him as well. Um, but just such a good message. Um, you know, the happiness, um, you know, whether it's mental or, you know, whether it's in your, your heart, you know, emotional or whatnot or, you know, uh, it comes from within and, and you really, can, if you look elsewhere for it, that's where it'll be, you know, uh, from your brain and from your heart. So great message. Uh, otherwise, um, I think I'm probably not going to vlog too much today. Uh, just relax. Might we watch some basketball. Um, might shave, might do laundry. We'll see. Um, but yeah, hope you're doing well.